A Teacher Quest workshop or work week is like no workshop you've ever been to before. And go! One, two, one. And art thou confused? <laughs> and art comforting. <laughs> this experience leads you through starting with games that you might be familiar with, changing them, and takes you all the way to developing and then fixing and modifying a game that you develop as well as testing games from other people. So you don't just sit and listen and talk about a topic and then go back. We work with it and we play with it and make it better and get some really valuable feedback both from our peers, from the facilitators, and from actual students that help us to use the game. What part of it made you laugh? get somebody to join you so by doing that you have to lead yourself in the work that we do with teacher quest is we allow adults to work together and to collaborate and think about their practice in ways that they haven't necessarily done before and I think the power of what we provide is that we use sort of this games and play space that allows people to kind of open up their minds and think about things in new ways and take risks and if you're gonna be working with students and you're going to be asking them to learn constantly new things and try new things. You know, you have to put yourself in that moment and remember what that was like. If anyone who's ever taught anything to someone else knows that in order to do that well, you have to really understand it deeply as a facilitator of that experience. Any time that you have a professional development time with teachers, to me it's very precious and you have to make sure that those moments that you provide have huge payoffs for them in terms of the way they feel about themselves and their effectiveness as teachers and also for the kinds of things that they want to be able to do with their students. The first place to begin before you think about a game is what do you want the game to teach? And so although there's no real neat answer to this, we don't have any step one, step two, step three, over the course of the years at Quest Learn we've really refined this process and we have some good guidelines that will help you, that will help push you, rather, in the right direction to find an appropriate learning goal that then you're then going to transform into this game for your classroom. We had something, what was the one that set up? Oh, experimental design, okay, we had that. Already. Yeah, um, variables. variables, oh, that's uh, always a good one. Uh, absolutely. But it sounds like you're trying to get them to understand how the literary elements work together yeah, the, the, to create a story. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. The learning target is to analyze story elements okay. and how they interact with each other. And how they interact with each other. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It was really in here. Common Core, because they'll have to back up their choices with that. Cite several pieces of textual evidence to support analysis of what the text says explicitly, explicitly at, as well as inferences, conclusions, or generalizations drawn from the text. Teachers aren't by themselves working creating these games. They're collaborating with other teachers, a whole host of supports and different people. So it's very much an integral part of the, of the workshop is to have them work together. As we moved along throughout the week, it's been, been really fun for me to see other people play a game that I helped to develop and or modify and, uh, and watch them have fun with it. And certainly that makes me feel really good when I see that other people are enjoying something that I helped to come up with.